Our top story. Millions of people around the country are casting their vote for the next president of the United States. Trojan Visions reporter Simon Brown joins us live from the Troy Rec Center, which is one of many places Pike County residents and Troy students are voting. Simon, how's it looking out there? Well, guys, as you can see, voters are showing up to the Pike County City Rec Center, many of them getting off work to cast their ballot. Earlier today, I spoke with members of the Pike County community and members of Troy University. They gave me their thoughts amid this highly contested election. In 2020, former President Donald Trump won the state of Alabama with 62% of the vote. Some Alabamians hope to see history repeat itself. Because he's running on a stronger economy, on border control, on a stronger position as a world power. I think that if, United, if the people of the United States would rally around those principles instead of who's saying them, then I think that that would be really unifying. In this election, many college students are first-time voters. Troy student Alyssa Wall says her vote will be based on future economic stability. Honestly, one of the things that most concerns me is just like taxes, um, just because that's probably what is selfishly what's going to affect me. More attention to the people who are in need, lower social class, and just people who are struggling day by day to just make it through. Creech says he plans to vote for Trump based on his policies, not his personality. I think that we're really divided, and I'd like to see us come together in unity. I, I feel like Trump, he's a really div divisive character, but I think that his policies are really unifying. Polls in Alabama will be closing in less than two hours at 7 p.m. Remember, if you still plan on voting, you will need a valid form of photo identification. If you are still unsure where to vote, you can find a list of Pike County polling locations on our website at troy.edu slash Trojan Vision. Reporting live in Troy, Simon Brown, Troy, Trojan Vision News. Thanks, Simon. Once polls close, news outlets across the state will begin gathering numbers from those statewide polling locations. Now, however, experts have warned that it could take until tomorrow to get the full and final results.